Cutting kind on of scale guys, next here, I'm Falja Godin with channel Rodfall Pulse. If you have no clue what I just said there, I just said welcome to my Pulse Rifle channel because, and again, we are going to have another Pulse Rifle review to do in Destiny 2. I told you, it is the meta that is just guiding all these videos. It's like the only things that are like really improved in Destiny at the moment. There's nothing really to do videos on because, well, mainly because they've already been reviewed and there isn't really anything new except for like the DFA hand cannon, which I've already done a video on. So I am waiting for each reset, but while I'm waiting for the resets, I'm going through all the pulses. And the next pulse I'm going to be doing right now is the Machina DEI-4. Or the Machina Day 4. I think I did a review on this before and I got the name wrong, so it is the Machina Day 4. It is a pulse rifle of the 340 RPM, and at the time I tried comparing it to the League of Action 2, and it was okay, it wasn't amazing. It was an alright pulse, but as we know, pulse rifles right now are just in a god tier of their own. And they can wreck house right now. So without further ado, let me go in and show you its perks. So Machina Day 4, a Charnable Effulgent Orb, Beacon in a Lonesome Dark, Feeded Faded Corpses Rise, a Too Long Absent Gibbous Spark. Oh my god, I am, don't know how I pronounced all of them. I probably butchered every single one of those names, but you know what? Read it yourselves, guys, because I cannot pronounce all those words. But the gun itself, it is a whole vexed looking gun because that is because you get this gun from doing the verses, which came with the Curse of Osiris expansion pack. So if you don't have the Curse of Osiris, you cannot get this gun. But that's enough about the gun. Let's go and check its perks out. So its first perk is going to be its intrinsic, which is high impact frames, slow firing and high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. Now you can see that this will have barrel attachments instead of aims like sights or anything. So extend the barrel. Weighty barrel extension, increases range, decreases handling speed. And then we have its second barrel attachment, which is chambered compensator, stable barrel attachment, increases stability, moderately controls recoil, slightly decreases handling speed. And then the last barrel attachment will be fluid barrel, ultralight barrel, greatly increases handling speed, slightly increases stability. And then we go to the magazine perks of this gun, and wouldn't you know it has a daddy perk of a perk, which is high caliber rounds. Shots from this weapon knock the target back farther, slightly increases range. Now we already know that high caliber rounds did get nerfed I think around Christmas time or something like that but they can still be an absolute menace because flinch is still relevant in the game and you can kick people's aim up into oblivion with this thing. Especially for you uh, PS4 users, <laughs> you will not like this perk being played against you. But that goes without saying, I probably don't even need to look at the other perks but I will anyway. So the second magazine perk is a pendant mag, this weapons magazine is built for higher capacity, increases magazine size. And then the last perk on the gun is Tactical Mag. This weapon has multiple tactical improvements, slightly increases stability, increases reload speed, slightly increases magazine size. And then lastly, we have its trait, which is Ambitious Assassin. Overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. So this is more PvE orientated. It's not bad PvP, but like it doesn't really, it's not really relevant too much, to be honest. I'd never really sit there going, oh my God, I procced Ambitious Assassin, go me. Uh, like I'm gonna kill so many people with this. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that, but PvE, this is definitely pretty good because you can kill like Scions in one shot because it's such a high impact and like low rate of fire. You can kill Scions in one shot and then when you reload, you got a ton more bullets in the magazine. I mean, it's not the worst perk to have on the gun, but it's not really the best. If this was like a rampage or a kill clip or something, my god, would I be in heaven right now? Because the rest of the perks and even like it's all stats look pretty damn sweet. But that's it for all the Machina Day 4's perks. So without further ado, let's hop into Crucible and test it out. All right, so we are on Endless Fail. And uh, what game mode is it? I don't really need to say it. <laughs> control. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always control? <laughs> oh, oh my god, okay, this is the aim on the gun. As I said, there is no other aims on it, so you're kind of stuck with this one. If you don't like it, uh, yeah. well, I don't know what to say, because you just want to knock the rest of this gun. But, like, this is, it's not the worst aim, it's a red dot side, basically. But I know from when I use this, this should pack a punch. This is a 340 pulse. One of my own, like, favorites, well, not favorite ones, but it is 340, which I love these archetype. It's really sweet, and... Is there an enemy team or like did we just transfer sides? I think we did. But I love these 340 pulses. I just think they pack such a wallop. Now I will have to get used to this because I've been using 540 pulses like the last three days. So I am gonna have to get back used to these uh high high damage and slow rate of fire weapons. But you know what? I am up for the challenge. Because there's the first kill. We get him real sweetly. Oh, there he is. Oh, I need to hit headshots with this thing. Oh, Okay, he's dead. Oh, 
Okay, note to self, you must hit the headshot with this thing. I forgot that you need the precision more than anything else with this. You now what the- oh, there's the headshots. Oh, he's so weak. He's so goddamn weak. <laughs> ah, oh, that was so much damage. I just lo look- look at them. Oh, I forgot how sweet this can be. Like, look at that damage. <laughs> Oh, come on. Keep on challenging me. Oh, damn it. I should not have got cocky. Okay, this is this is like the perfect place you want to be because if they peek... Oh, my... No! Oh, it's going to be such a good spot. Like, if they peek there, they are kind of screwed. Did you get him, brother? Oh, you didn't get him. Come on. I got him weak for you. I got him weak. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, are you okay, huh? Oh, there's two of them here and there's one here. I don't know who to go for. Who to go for? Who to go for? Okay, we got one. Come on, I'll help you out. Okay, we got two. Oh, I should overflow the magazine. See, I'm getting like 30 bullets because of Ambitious Assassin 2. Or I got three, sorry. <laughs> for each kill, you get, you get like another three bullets when you reload. So as I got a single kill there, when I reloaded, I had 33 bullets. It, if you're struggling for bullets, it's like an amazing perk. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, I nearly lost that fight because I forgot you cannot go close to this thing, but oh my god, we are shredding them. Oh, the 340 pulses. Why did I ever why did I ever quit you? It's like an addiction. They're like my cigarettes. I, I need them. Oh, 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 bang! Oh, we got one! Okay, guys, I just saved your asses, so I don't mind if you want to send some congratulatory chocolates to me or something like that some other time. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I can't get the second one. I can only get one, okay? Oh, come on. What the? What the hell just happened to my aim? What the? How did I not kill the other guy? I literally had him dead to rights, and something happened to my aim, and I missed completely. Uh, did he just... <laughs> I think he nailed himself. No, he put a rift down. Oh, come on. Is he gonna, He's going to get full health, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> this is just a losing battle for me, to be honest. I am just going to leave. Oh my god, there's so many people! Oh, I got one, what the hell? Where did the fist I have it come from? Do not let them get heavy, guys. I do not want to deal with a rocket launcher or stupid, stupid colony, to be honest. Oh, come on, we can get the two. Oh, oh, oh my god! So much damage, so little time. Oh my god, it's so sweet sometimes. Take that, Nate. Oh, come on, I can see him. <laughs> he ran into my nade. Oh, oh. Oh, I killed him. Nice. I'll take that kill. Oh, there's someone there. I, I I think I'm spawn trapping them right now. I feel bad. But uh, how did I get assist there? Oh my god, are you serious? The level Don't 2. Taking my kill. Oh my god, though. The damage on this thing. Ugh, it's so sweet. And like this is... Uh, it's just... These guns, they're just so steady, and like they do so much damage. I, they're just, I don't, I'm telling you, I don't know why I quit them. 540 pulses are fun. But man, these things, if you want just damage and kills, just <laughs> stick this on or any sort of 340 pulls because man, did they just melt. And it's really good for people who don't like to get caught up close because you can just kind of camp, well not camp, kind of sit back and like, look at that. You can just shred with little ease. Like I'm, I'm able to talk properly and shoot at the same time. How easy, it's like easy mode. There's someone else here somewhere. Hey buddy. Did I not get him? No, I didn't. Uh, okay, that was a pretty good game. <laughs> I mean, we destroyed them. Um, I mean, the gun itself, like, look at that 10 KD. It's just, ah, oh, the 340 pulses. I don't know why I could just, I don't, I don't know why I left. They are just machines. Well, that's it for me and the Machina Day 4. What can I say about this gun? It is so goddamn steady, so goddamn powerful, and its range is sweet. And it has high caliber rounds in it, which just knocks their aim all over the place. Ambitious Assassin, I don't know if it plays too big of a part in this gun to make me, like, do well. I think it's okay-ish, but it's, a uh, yeah, it's a pretty damn good gun. I love these 340s again. I don't know why I quit them. Uh, honestly, they are unreal. I mean, the damage you do with these guns, 29 to a dome from, like, a shot, uh, and then you multiply that by, like, 3, basically, because you're doing the 3 burst. Oh, my God, it just melts. I haven't used a 340 in the last, like, few days because I've been doing a lot of 540 pulses. Because it is a pulse rifle channel, if you haven't noticed already, I seem to be doing just loads of pulses. But honestly, I've just been doing a bunch of 540, I haven't done a 340 in like a week probably. And man, I missed them, because as you can see there, their ability to kill is just out of this world. Nobody has a chance, once you start shooting at them, they have no chance of escape. 
you can just shred them so quickly. And the thing about it is, I don't think I've used one tree 40 pulse yet where I've thought, oh my god, this isn't great or this isn't good. Every single one of them I've used has been good, has been really good, like top tier weapons. I mean, they are just in a class of their own right now. They did get the biggest buff out of all of the pulses, but they are just in a tier of their own right now. But regardless, if you liked the video, throw us a like and if you want to see more content, subscribe, have a fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.